Hi YouTubers, welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year 2015 to all you beauty lovers out there. Um, it's not really now new year, um, we're almost a week in, uh, but uh, I didn't want to leave it any longer before showing you my picks from Tom Ford's Lips and Boys collection because I know um, this collection having launched in the United States quite a while ago and then in the UK um, on Boxing Day already there are loads of videos out there about this collection. That being said, because there are 50 individual shades in the collection it's quite hard to um, necessarily find all the shades you're interested in being swatched in any one video. There are a couple of blogs out there, one in particular that I use that I will link below, uh, which I used to um, help me pick out the shades, which I ordered sight unseen from the Selfridges uh, website because I wasn't able to go along in person um, anytime soon after the launch and I was worried that um, my picks were going to sell out. In fact, as we shall see, I seem to have picked the more traditional um, boring shades that haven't sold out so they're still available although some of the more unusual shades I notice have now gone uh, I don't know whether they'll be restocked or not um, but there's lots of material out there for you to look at to help you um, make your picks um, so uh, what about the concept um, I think you probably all know by now this is the size of a normal Tom Ford lipstick I think it retails at uh, £36, but maybe even more here in the UK. This is the regular packaging, although they uh, he brings out different packaging with limited editions. Uh, and he sometimes sells, I'm told, I've never um, got one. Um, he doesn't sell. He gives away uh, sample sizes that are even smaller than this um, as uh, gifts with purchase, I think, probably in the States. I can't think that I've seen them over here. Um, but this is the mini size of the Lips and Boys collection, which, as I say, has 50 colours in. However, um, a large proportion of that 50 are, in fact, either existing shades or shades that have been limited edition before um, that have been renamed for this collection, although there are quite a number also of um, new shades. And again, the blogs help you work out uh, which is which. Uh, the clever bloggists tell us that this mini size uh, is actually very good value. It retails here in uh, the UK for £26, so it's still a premium product and I'm not pretending it is other than an expensive lipstick. However, um, they say that uh, point of gram for point of gram, it's actually better value than the big size. And uh, it's obviously self-evident that if you want to try out Tom Ford's um, fabulous formulation, then, you know, this is a good chance to do it a bit cheaper than a full size. And I would say in any event, um, I never use up a full size lipstick in Tom Ford or any brand or very rarely do. Uh, I get sick of them or they go off um, before I can get through a whole tube. Um, so I'd much rather manufacturers brought out these smaller sizes, which are much neater in your handbag. You can easily carry two or three and have a choice during the day. Um, and, you know, they go easily in an evening purse and you've got much more prospect of using them up whilst they're fresh and buying a new one. So I really, really like this size and I really like this concept, although it's quite gimmicky, of uh, naming the shades for various men in Tom Ford's life or um, who he admires. And, you know, it's obvious that we can pick out um, ones that are named for sentimental reasons. That's certainly what I've done in the case of two of my picks. So... Um, I'm going to show you what I picked. I have them swatched here down my arm. Um, I'll tell you right off that from left to right as you look at it, you can see Kerry or Kerry, um, Addison, William in the middle there, Alexandro and Michael at the right end. Um, those were my picks. And so uh, let's see, here's Alexandro. Um, which I think is in the red selections, divided up on the Selfridges and I think the Tom Ford website into kind of groups of reds, corals, pinks, silvers, that kind of thing, metallics. 
Uh, I went for Alexandro. This is a repromote of a shade called Slander. And you can see there, I would describe this as a fairly mid-tone, slightly bluey red. It has some um, shimmer, as you can see there, second to right, but uh, just a very flattering mid-blue-toned red. Um, I've worn this one once all day and it lasted well. Uh, leaving a stain even after it immediately um, rubbed off. I'm quite hard on my lipstick because I talk for business. I tend to lick my lips a bit and I drink a lot of coffee. So lipsticks don't stay well on me. Um, but I love Tom Ford's non-drying formula. And uh, this is a good one. Certainly lasts three to four hours before you need to reapply it. So that's Alexandro. Um, let's see what else have I got uh, Michael, this was a sentimental pick, I have to say, um, because I'm not a huge wearer of pinks. And this is the only one of my picks which is a new shade, uh, not a re-promote. I'm just going to move the light away for a minute. I think you get a better idea of the colour in the bullet. Um, there it is, a corally pink. Very, very pretty, I think, for the summer. Haven't worn it all day yet. Um, but it's a very bright, distinctive, um, pretty, pretty shade. I uh, certainly don't regret getting that one. It's very similar, um, looking at the swatches, to another one which I think is called Patrick. Um, not a lot to choose between them, but I thought Michael was possibly a bit brighter. Then here we've got Addison. Addison is uh, another repromote of... Pink Dusk, and you can see here this is a very neutral, um, mid-toned pink, I would say. Slightly warm, and on my swatches, it's there. You can see pulling a bit warmer on my skin. Um, not that noticeable on the lips, a very work-appropriate, my lips but better a kind of lipstick which will be very wearable. I think it's probably going to be quite a popular shade, but you know, not that distinctive. If you're going to splash out on a Tom Ford, I think the big question you have is do I pick a shade that I would wear every day, you know, for work to really get value out of my um, acquisition? Uh, or do I go for one of his really unusual shades because I'm spending all this money, so I might as well have something really distinctive even if I don't wear it as much. I think it's a toughie, really. Um, but this is as good a chance as any to perhaps try both. Uh, William here, I picked sentimentally my father's name, and he's recently died, so hardly commemorating him in a lipstick, but uh, it was a pick for me that I might not otherwise have made. Although having said that, I really like it now I've got it. Um, it's a kind of, I don't know, a browny, peachy, very pearlized colour in the bullet. Uh, it's that mid one, which you see comes off as a fairly sandy um, pearl, really. One of those lipsticks you might wear in the summer. I can say it looks very, very pretty on my mouth. Um, or you could wear it over other lipsticks and it would, you know, give a nice sheen. So I'm actually very pleased I got this one. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, doesn't last quite as well as the others. And then finally from these picks, um, Carrie or Carey. Um, oh, I should tell you that William is a repromote of a previous limited edition from uh, last spring, I think, called Pink Dune. I was surprised about that because I'd looked at Pink Dune and it didn't look the same to me, but that's what the vloggers say. Uh, who am I to argue? Here we have Kerry, which I've worn the most. Uh, it's a very work-appropriate number. It's that one, um, that kind of strong, neutral plum red really that you see on um, nearest my wrist there uh, I've worn this the last couple of days at work lasts really well it just gives you that you know polished um, defined look to the lips um, I will definitely get my wear out of this shade again you know is it spectacularly different from others you could get probably not in color um, but definitely um, the formula is very good 
um, very opaque, very non-drying, feels good, looks good and lasts pretty well. And that's really the story with Tom Ford lipsticks. Um, so I'm very pleased with all my picks. I didn't go for any of the unusual ones. Um, there are some very um, vibrant purples, um, some smoky colours. Um, they've, I think, been the popular ones that have sold out. And, um, you know, to be honest, those bold picks are good ones from Tom Ford because he often makes quite difficult colours very wearable, um, but I wasn't adventurous enough, um, particularly sight unseen. If I get the chance, I will um, scoot by um, Selfridges and have a look at what's left, maybe pick up a few more. Although um, one of my resolutions, obviously, this year, as ever, is to spend a little less um, or have more targeted <laughs> makeup purchases. I'm going to talk about that in another video. Before I go, just one other quick thing to show you. Whilst I was ordering from Tom Ford from the website, I also purchased, clear the decks, a Tom Ford brush, my first one. Um, my resolution really is to spend a bit more on tools this year and uh, thought I might buy a few Tom Ford brushes over the year. This is the eyeshadow blending brush. Uh, I've got a few, but not enough blending brushes because I'm lazy about um, washing and cleaning. The bristles already seem to be getting in a bit of a mess with this one. Um, but there it is. I haven't used it yet. Um, I'm not very happy about those bristles, actually. That might have to go back. Have a look at that later. But um, that's your Tom Ford brush, number 13. Uh, and as I say, I'm looking to buy a few of them. Be interested to know if any of you have had experiences with them. They're not the very top range of the, you know, great Japanese brushes, but they're pricey enough. It'll be interesting to see if they deliver better results than MAC, who are my main um, brush suppliers thus far, uh, and Real Techniques, who, you know, do very well for drugstore brushes. But uh, I'll let you know when I've used this one, sorted out these stray bristles that aren't auguring very well. Anyway, uh, that's all for now on Tom Ford. I have quite a few um, empties, favourites, resolutions and so forth to uh, catch up on. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.